Galaxy on Nines is going to be a lot of fun. You guys are going to enjoy it. Uh, I don't know how long you're going to use it in your life, but it, it's just a fun way of checking your adding, uh, multiplying, dividing, and even subtraction problems um, quickly and easily and, and a little bit of a fun way of doing it. So we're going to start with addition, and all we're going to do is we're going to look for nines or numbers that add up to nine. Even, even if it's three numbers that add, add up to nine, as you're going to see in a little bit. So we go across each number like this. So the first row here, uh, what do we see? Do it, anybody? Callista? Seven and two. All right, so we kind of make a little line through them so that we know we use them up. Seven and two equal nine, so we don't need those anymore. We're going to cast out nines. So do we have any others in the first line? No. All right, what about this line here? Uh, now, Tom. Esther. See, there's a, there's a situation where you're actually using three numbers. Two plus four equals six plus three is nine, so we get rid of all those. Uh, what about this line here? Sarah. Um, three and six. Okay, three and six equal nine. Okay, that's all for that line. What about this line here, Jackie? Nine and seven and nine. Seven and what? Seven and two. Seven and two, okay. All right, what about the answer here? Uh, Amber. The nine and then the eight. Eight and one One and the eight, okay, good. All right, so now what we've done is we've gotten rid of all the nines or numbers that add up to nine. Now we have what's called, what your book calls excesses what's left over. And so what we do is we go across the line here and we add them up. So five plus eight is what? Thirteen. All right. Uh, and we only have an eight there. And we have two plus five. Seven. Seven. All right, and we have three. That's easy. Three. And down here we just have four. All right, now, in your book it'll tell you to then take your excesses and divide them by nine. That's the part that I think is uh, maybe one st step more than what we have to do. All right, because I found something really cool about that. If I divide 13 by 9, what do I get? 1, what's left over? 4. Okay, 4. So you get rid of the 1, because that's a 9, and what's left is 4, right? Okay, what is 3 plus 1? 4. Why not just add 3 plus 1? Okay, does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So anytime you have a two-digit number, just add the two numbers together. Whatever you get, that's, that's your answer. Okay, that's what our excess is. Now, also we can go down here with all of our add ends and we can see if there's any nines here. Anybody see a nine? Um. Yeah, the answer would be no. <laughs> Good. All right, so there are no combinations of nines at all there. And four obviously is not a nine. So we can add up all these numbers here together uh, up to there. So we have 12, 19, 22, right? All right, 22. Now again, your book says divide that by nine. We're just gonna add two plus two and you get one. Okay, so all of this added up together gives you 22 and two plus two equals four and that's what you have down here. And if those two numbers agree, then it checks. Okay, so real quickly again, we're going across each line, getting rid of all the nines. We take the numbers that are left over, we bring them over here, the totals. If it's a two-digit number, we just add them together, we get a number. We cast out nines out of here, which we couldn't, but we end up with 22. Two plus two is four. And when we cast out the nines out of here, all we had left was a four. And so they're the same, so it, it means that it's okay. Your answer's check. When you get really good at this, it's gonna be faster than the old way. If you remember the old way of checking is we added up. This way, so you had to add up each column all the way up to the top, and this answer should be the same as this answer. That was the old way. Cassie on nines, you just you're going to be able to pick up nine so fast, you're going to zip through there, boom, 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 and you're going to have your excesses, and you're going to have your answer, and you're going to be done. All right, multiplication. All right, so we're going to do the same thing. Go across the line here. Um, let's see, get somebody different. Zeke. Uh, two plus seven. All right, two and seven are nine. All right, next row, do we have anything there? Nothing there. All right, down here, do we have anything? Uh, Rome? You see any nines? Glasses. Micah? Uh, the one, the two, and the six. 
Oh, 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 one, two, and six, okay. Or he could have just done the two and the seven, either way, but that's okay. We'll do that one. One, two, and six. So we have a seven and four left, that's not nine. So let's add them up, we have an eight here. We have 16 here, and we have 11 here, all right? Now, they're two digit numbers, so we're gonna add these up together, and that gives us seven, and this gives us two, correct? All right, now, this is a multiplication problem. So, what is seven times eight? Uh, Damien? 56. What's five plus six, Andrew? Just 11. You add those two together, you get 11. Okay, well, we still have a two digit number, so what's one plus one? Two. Two. Uh, Look at that. They're the same. Okay? So we check this by adding these all up together. We check this by multiplying them together because it's a multiplication problem, all right? Okay, next we have division. So again, I've worked the whole problem out. We'll cast out nines. We don't have anything here. What about here? Taya? The five and the four. Okay, four plus five is nine, so we'll get rid of those. We don't have a nine here. What about here in the dividend? Uh, Ruben? Seven and two. Seven and two is nine. Uh, Andrew? Three and six. Three and six is nine. All right, so really we have nothing left here. That's a zero, right? Right here we have seven plus four, which is? Thirteen. Eleven. Uh, Eleven. <laughs> Eleven plus uh, is a two-digit number, so one plus one is? Two. Two. All right, here we have a one. All right. And here we have six plus one is seven. All right, now, this is what I told you like last week when we were getting all ready for this. And I said, we're going to check, cast out nines the same way we check a division problem. We check a division problem by taking the divisor times the quotient and adding the remainder, and that should give us the dividend. You're going to do the same thing with cast out nines. Two times one is what? Two. two. Plus seven. Nine. And we don't have nines when we cast out nines, they become zeros. Okay, we never have the number nine, they're always zeros. And so we have zero and zero, or as I like to say, two donuts. It could be donuts, if you like donuts. All right, now, so this is the trickiest one, but it doesn't have to be if you'll just remember how did we check division the old way? Divisor times quotient, plus remainder, gave us the dividend. You're going to do the same thing with cast out nines. You're just going to get rid of all the nines, multiply these two together, add that, and it should be the same. Okay? Very easy. Now, the question that we were talking about, can you do subtraction? You can do subtraction. I'm going to show you how to do it here. Um, do we have any nines here? Uh, Valak? Two, three, four. No, all, all three of them. They all add up to nine. So we actually basically have a zero there. All right, what about this line here? Uh, Lexi? Nine. <laughs> Nine? All right, that's the only one there. So we have seven and seven, which is 14. Four plus one is five. Okay? Down here, we have nines. Naftal? Nine. All right, we have a nine. And then we don't have anything else, so we have five plus eight? Thirteen. And three plus one is? Four. Okay, now. Hmm. Do we subtract five from nothing? How do we check a subtraction problem the old way? See how do you um, do it? You you uh, add down. <laughs> Esther, how do you do it? You add the answer with the subtrahend. Subtrahend. All right. So the difference is added to the subtrahend, and it should give you the Minuend, right? So actually we're adding up. What's four plus five? And we don't have nines, they become zero, right? We go back to the donuts again. All right, so you can do subtraction the same way. You still get rid of the nines, but you check it the same way we would check it the old fashioned way. You add up and you come up with the, the right answer, okay? Now, there's a one in maybe 100 chance that you might end up, and these two numbers agree, but the answer is still wrong. 
it could happen. Uh, if you get the numbers mixed around or something in your answer, it could happen, but it's like very seldom. If these numbers do not agree, it's usually because you messed up. Now, the frustration is still going to be there when you check the old-fashioned way. If it didn't come out right, you have frustration because now I've got to go work that whole problem all over again? Yes, you do. But by casting out nines, it's a little faster. The checking was a little bit faster. You're going to get faster and faster at this the more you do it. And, and it's going to go a lot faster than the old-fashioned way. So you can check them, and you come up with the wrong answer, and you say, oh, no. You've got to go back and do it again. You've got to find out where your mistake's at. When you get done, you'll finally get those numbers to agree, and you're going to be saying, hallelujah, I did it. I got right. And that's going to be so good. You're going to be so happy when it's all over. All right? All right, thank you, sir. All right, now.